Hi guys, so welcome back again to Derive. So in today's video naman, we're going to finish this uh, chapter 16 which is all about gears ng machine design and in this part 2, we're going to tackle the worm and bevel which is the third and fourth uh, basic type of the gear. So we already discussed the uh, spar and helical. So ngayon naman, worm and bevel. So uh, of course, this is a past board exam problems and let us proceed. At syempre, bago uli ang uh, pagsagot ng mga problems, we're going to discuss some formulas that we're going to use. Of course, gears, the definition of gear is uh, already discussed on the first video. So this is the mechanism that mesh together via teeth and are used to transmit rotary motion from one shop to another. So if there's a motion that is involved, of course, Andyan ang power, andyan yung torque. And sabi, gears are defined by two important items, the radius and the number of teeth. So, that, uh, ang evidence niyan is the first video of our gear. No, talagang na-discuss ang diameters ng mga involved na mechanism, uh, pati na rin ang kanilang number of teeth. Okay, so simulan natin si worm gears. So, si warm gears daw are used where high speed ratios. So, usually 10 is to 1 or above. So, the mating members are called warm. So, siya yung mas maliit. Kaya siya tinawag na warm gear. And warm gear or wheel. So, big sabihin, para tong talagang uh, tinawag siyang warm gear kasi warm and gear. So, big sabihin, so, ito yung warm. And of course, this is our gear. So, and lang naman, ganun lang naman ka simple. Okay, so binukod ko itong uh, picture na to. Kasi medyo naka parang mahirap mag drawing dito or mag identify ng mga parameters. So, of course, this is your worm gear. Atong itaas na to again. This is the worm. Of course, warm gear has a diameter. So, ang diameter niya naman is represented by DW. So, kung kanina sa spar or sa first video, ginawa natin DA and DB. So, in order for us not to be confused or malito. So, warm gear is represented. Uh, warm gear diameter is represented by DW. Okay. So, of course, of course, this is a uh, gear. Of course, this is a motion. So, itong umiikot na to has an RPM represented by N, W. And of course, since this is a warm gear, si warm gear kasi para siyang pinagsamang gear plus threaded members. Kasi as you can see, no, this warm gear is parang uh, threaded talaga siya. That's why I said it is combination of gears and a threaded member topic. So, kung makikita nyo, of course, this warm gear has a distance of pitch. Ayan. So, parehas lang din siya kapag sinabing single threaded, double threaded, triple threaded. Of course, yung L niya or yung lead niya is equal to P kapag single. Lagay nga natin. L is equal P kapag single, kapag double threaded, 2P, 3P kapag triple and so on and so forth. So, ano naman gagamitin pitch dyan? So, since this is a discussion of gear, so maraming pitch na tiyatawag, diametral pitch, circular pitch, so ang may encounter nating problem, kung kailanganin man ng pitch na to, we're going to use the circular pitch. Okay? So, ano pa bang mga parameters dyan? And of course, meron tayong involved na angle. Kung si spar gear has uh Kapag usapang spar gear, si pressure angle siya. Tapos si helical, as I can remember, that was helix angle, of course. So kapag usapan ng mga warm gear, dyan papasok ang lead angle. Okay, so parang talagang threaded members lang, guys. So that was the lead angle. And of course, since this is the bigger body, this is the so-called gear. This is the worm and this is the gear. Of course, kung meron tong speed na N, W, syempre meron tong N, G naman for the gear. And of course, this represents, this measurement represents the diameter of the gear. Okay. 
So, ito naman yung mga formulas natin. Okay. So, ano na ba ito? So, this is the important angles on the gear teeth. So, bukod sa lead angle, so, pag sinabing warm gear, and yan pa rin si normal pressure angle. So, in order for get, in order for us to get the normal pressure angle value, that uh, we have the formula of tangent normal pressure angle is equal to the product of tangent pressure angle, tangent daw yan, at cosine nung lead angle. And how are we going to get this lead angle? So, in order to get this lead angle, again, this warm gear is a combination of gear and threaded member topic discussion. So, it is simply the tangent of lead angle is equal to L over pi W, which is our L here represents the lead. And sabi ko kanina, if it is uh, single threaded, so that was P. Pag double, 2P. Pag triple, 3P. At ang binabanggit dyang P is the circular pitch. Okay, and of course, this W is our pitch diameter form. Again, pitch diameter is different from diametral pitch. And this DG, of course, is the pitch diameter gear. At syempre, usapang threaded members, hindi mawawala ang efficiency. So the efficiency of form and gear is represented by this formula. Okay? So E is equal to tangent lead angle multiplied by the cosine of normal pressure angle minus coefficient of friction times tangent lead angle over cosine of normal pressure angle, tangent lead angle, ah, cosine, tama, normal pressure angle times tangent lead angle plus the coefficient of friction. But if you are re uh, you're reviewing for a board exam, I advise to you guys not to uh, seriously memorize or study this efficiency. Uh, siguro sa mga nakikita reviewers, and sa batch ko rin, at sa mga interview ko this past board exam, wala naman daw lumabas na efficiency of form in gear. So if you're interested, eh, medyo ilas mo ito sa iyong priority. Of course, hindi mawala ang mga forces. We have two tangential loads on each of the body of the worm and the gear. So represented by FT with W. So simple lang, F. T is equal to 2T over D, kagaya ng mga nakaraan. So that was the torque. And of course, this is the diameter. If it is warm, that will be represented by DW. At kapag usapang tangential load naman ng gear, so that was efficiency over tangent uh, lead angle. So parang ano lang din siya, L over pi DW. Multiply by D. FTW or the tangential load of the worm. Okay. And remind ko lang that this video is expected to be shorter than the part one. So we have this separating force. S is equal to FT, sine normal pressure angle over cosine normal pressure angle cosine lead angle and minus coefficient of friction times sine lead. Angle. And again, the separating force, uh, my advice is that I priority nyo to, I, I last priority nyo na yan, na arale. Of course, we have the speed ratio here. NW over NG. Speed down ng worm over speed ng gear is equal to tip ng gear over tip ng worm. So, kagaya ng derivation natin do sa part 1. So, parang ganyan din yan. Pero, Guys, remind that this TW is TW is equal to 1 kapag single threaded worm. And this TW is equal to 2 kapag double. Of course, this is 3 kapag triple and so on and so forth. So kapag sinabing triple threaded, ang ngipin niya, matik ngipin ng worm is tatlo. No, kasi talagang iibayin nyo siya kasi nga para siyang threaded members. Okay. So how about the bevel gears? So okay, so bevel gears naman, ano ba ang pinagaiba ng uh, bevel gears? So bevel gears are used to connect intersecting shafts, usually but not necessarily at right angle. So common talaga niyang ure is the miter gears. And these miter gears are bevel gears of the same size connecting shafts at right 
angle. So, nasaan si right angle dyan, guys? So, si right angle ay... Nasaan ba yung... Ano natin? Palitan natin ng red. Yan. So, this is the right angle. Okay? So, this theta is usually of 90 degrees. And what about the other parameters? Ano yung natin yung ibang parameters? So, of course, this B is the face width o yung pinakalapad ng pisngi ng ating bevel gear. So, theta is our shaft angle. Shaft angle. Usually of 90 degrees. Okay? And we have this uh, angle, which is the cone angle. Pag-usapang uh, bevel gear siya talaga ang pinakatinatanong. Okay? So, we have this R, of course, the radius. Of course, this D is the diameter. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's the useful suspect. The letter D, the letter R, and so on and so forth. So, dalawa lang naman yan. So, sharp angle is 90 degrees and the cone angle. Okay. So, uh, okay, yeah. So, kung sa pag-aatandaan nyo, ang ating first Ang ating part 1 for the gear ay uh, nagdrawing tayo ng cube doon or parang rectangle parallel pipe yata yun. <laughs> Medyo hindi kasi pantay. So involved doon yung not only 2 but 3 loads or 4 loads. Then that was the radial, the tangential, na dagdagan ng uh, axial and of course the resultant load. So in this case, apat bling naman uli. So we have this... Uh, of course, the radial load, the tangential load, the axial load, and of course, the resultant load. So, resultant load, of course, malina naman to. Dapat wala tong 2 kasi naka square root na. So, that was the square root of the sum of the square of the forces. Okay. So, syempre, involve uli ang ating normal pressure angle. So, in order to get this, you should get first the cone angle and the pressure angle. So, that was tangent of the pressure angle times cosine of the cone angle. Tapos kunin mo yung tangent ng normal pressure angle. Okay, so the, okay, meron tayo ulit mga loads, of course. So ano-ano yan? So of course, meron tayong tangential load here. So parang ano lang naman yan, Ft is equal to T over R. So wala naman pinagkaiba yan sa Ft is equal to 2 over D. Ginawa lang in terms of radius. And we have this radial load of Ft tangent normal pressure angle times cosine of cone angle. And our actual load here is Fa is equal to Ft tangent ng normal angle times sine of cone angle. So parang sa actual load is Fa is equal to uh, same lang siya. So ibig sabihin that was Fr cosine of cone angle times natin ang sine angle. So parang Fa is equal to Fr tangent cone angle. And of course, this resultant. Look. So that's it for the bevel gears. Oh, may last pa pala tayong formula. So that was the pitch angle opinion, which is ito talaga kapag ang bevel gears ay tinanong sa board. So talaga minsan na tanong pitch angle of the opinion. So pitch angle of the opinion is the arc tangent of sine theta over the ratio of speed of the pinion and gear plus cosine theta. Okay, so let us proceed. So, meron lang tayong tingnan ko lang. Ah. So, yeah, meron lang tayong five questions for this video. Kasi talaga namang spar and helical ang pinaka main question sa board exam. Pero, try natin. Baka may lumabas, no? Na worm and bevel gear. So, let us uh, answer this one. A worm gear consists um a worm with a triple thread during a worm driving a worm wheel with 48 teeth which is attached to a 24 inches pulley the worm is driven at 900 rpm find the speed of the worm wheel so we are looking for the speed we are looking for the speed of the uh worm wheel so we have the speed ratio so, speed ratio is the ratio of the speed, of course, of the worm and speed of the gear. And, of course, it is also equivalent to the teeth 
of the gear over to the teeth of the worm. So we all know that the teeth of the worm, it depends on how threaded ang sinabi sa problem. And in this case, this is a triple threaded worm, meaning our teeth of the worm is three. Okay, so. Tapos. Uh, the worm is driven at 900 RPM. So meaning, kung si TW okay na, so NW natin is 900 RPM. So ibig sabihin, NW is check. At sino pa ba ang pwedeng given? So ang sabi naman dito, driving a worm wheel with 48 teeth. So ibig sabihin, Ang worm wheel kasi pag sinabing worm wheel, hindi siya yung worm. So that was the gear. So obviously, marami siyang ngipin. So that was TG. TG is equal to 48. So that was a simple substitution. And it will become 900 over NG is equal to TG, which is 48 divided by 3. So we all know 48 divided by 3 is 16. So 900 divided by 16. So the speed of the worm wheel is... 56 to 25 RPM. Obviously, the answer is letter B. Okay. So second question, a triple threaded worm has a pitch diameter of 4 inches. The wheel has 36 teeth and a pitch diameter of 10 inches. Uh, compute the lead angle. So in order for us to get the lead angle, so it is a uh, discussion of gear and a threaded member combined. So that was the tangent of uh, lead angles equal to L over pi dW. And again, L, is, L will depend on how many threaded the problem, uh, the worm has stated. So this is a triple threaded worm, meaning that was three pitch at ang gagamitin natin pitch Sinabi ko kanina, that was the circular pitch over pi dw. Ano-ano nga muna ba ang given? So, ang given lang natin, the wheel has 36 teeth. Ibig sabihin, that was the TG and the pitch diameter of 10 inches. So, not this is not diametral pitch. Again, this is different from diametral pitch. So, pitch diameter meaning DG is equal to 10 inches. Kaso ang inaanap is DW pati circular pitch in order for us to get the lead angle. How are we going to do this one? Okay, so we all know way back on the spar gear. So pwede natin gamitin yung formula na pi D over T. Kung sinong available na diameter and number of teeth na pares meron, so we can use the circular pitch. It's either the diameter and teeth of the worm or the diameter and teeth of the gear or the worm wheel. So, ang available is para as G. So, we can put this as G. So, that was pi times 10 divided by 36. So, ilan to? So, 10 pi divided by 36. So, teach me 10 pi. So, that was 0.87. 2... 66 or 27 inches. So we already have this circular pitch. So we are looking na lang for this DW. So saan kaya natin pwedeng kunin to? Ang sabi pala kanina, a triple threaded worm has a pitch diameter of 4 inches. Meaning, this is 4 inches. So direct sub, so tangent lead angle is equal to 3 times 0.8727. Divide natin ng 5. Divide down 4. So ship so or just multiply 3 times 0 0.87 to 7, divide 4, divide pi, and tangent, arc tangent natin yun. So the answer is 11.77 degrees. So the uh, nearest answer obviously is letter A. That was 11.8 degrees Celsius. Okay, so down to the last third question. So I think this is the longest. Kaya pin-repair ko ang isang question sa isang slide lang. A warm gear transmit a power of 7.5 kilowatts at 1,200 RPM. The triple threaded worm has a pitch diameter of 70 mm. 
the gear has 60 teeth, which cut a 20 degree stub with a circular pitch of 19 mm. The coefficient of friction is 0.10. Calculate the efficiency of the worm gear drive. And we all know that. How are we going to do this one? So, ang efficiency natin, sa pagkakatanda natin, efficiency is the tangent of the lead angle uh, multiplied by cosine of the normal pressure angle minus F, which is coefficient of friction, times tangent of the lead angle over cosine pressure angle times tangent lead angle plus F. So, involved lang naman is tangent ng lead angle at si cosine normal pressure angle, pati si coefficient of friction. So, tatlong parameters lang involved sa efficiency. So, para hindi ka malito, ayun lang, kabisadoy mo lang konti. Basta yung tatlong involved sa numerator and denominator, so hindi ka naman malilikaw. So, how are we going to get this efficiency? Anong kailangan natin unahin? So, unahin na natin kunin si... Uh, lead angle. So, si tangent lead angle is equal to L over pi dW. And ang sabi, this is a triple threaded worm, meaning L is equal to 3 times circular pitch. So, how are we going to get the circular pitch? Meron ba tayong given? So, ayun, ang sabi, with a circular pitch of 19 mm. So, swerte tayo na so that was 3 times 19, so that was 57 mm. Tama ba? Okay. So meron na tayong uh, lead here. So sa natin kukunin si worm diameter. The triple threaded worm has a pitch. Ayan, ang sabi, the triple threaded worm has a pitch diameter of 70 mm. So ibig sabihin, that was 70 mm. So direct sub, this will become 57 divided by pi, divided by 70. So our lead angle here is, so that was 57 divided by uh, pi, divided 70, tangent, arc tangent, so that was 14.53. So okay na tayo dito sa lead angle. So inaalap na lang natin is the normal pressure angle. Si coefficient of friction naman ang sabi is 0.1. So we are just looking right now for the normal pressure angle. Pero, pero, paano natin makakuha si normal pressure angle? So way back on our previous slide, meron tayong naligaw na uh, formula doon which is the tangent of the normal pressure angle is equal to tangent ng pressure angle times cosine of the lead angle. So how are we going to do this? So ano nga ba ang pressure angle? So stab, sabi ganito, stab 20 degrees. So yun yung pressure angle natin. And of course, our lead angle, kakukuha lang, which is 14.53 degrees, meaning makukuha na natin to. So that means tangent of the normal pressure angle is equal to tangent of 20 degrees multiply by the cosine of 14.53 degrees. So our normal pressure angle is, so that was cosine 14.53 times tangent 20, shift tangent answer that was 19.41 degrees. And ayun, dalawa na yung nakuha nating angle, so meaning, tas may coefficient of friction na rin tayo, we can all direct substitute the three parameters to get the efficiency of the warm gear. So that was tangent of lead angle, which is 14.53, multiplied by the cosine of normal pressure angle, which is 9.41 degrees, minus 0 0.1, tangent 14.53 degrees ulit. Okay, so that was, and all over cosine 19.41, times tangent 14.53 plus 0 0.1. So our efficiency here is, kunin muna natin si 0 0.1 times tangent 14.53. 
cosine um, nasan si normal pressure angle cosine 19.41 minus answer non times tangent 14.53 divided by 0 0.1 muna para sa friction plus cosine 19.41 times tangent 14.53 guys ingat sa pagpindot ah. ako nga napindot ko yung ln okay so the efficiency is 0. Point... pasmado talaga Nyari, ay magura. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, that was 0 0.690177. So, that was 69.02%. Okay, so obviously, the answer is letter C. Okay, so we're down with the last two questions. A pair of straight tooth bevel gears are mounted on the shafts that intersect each, uh, each other at an angle of 70 degrees. The velocity ratio is one half. So determine the pitch angle of the pinion. And way back, uh, balikan natin. Yeah. So that was the pitch angle of the pinion. So that was the arc tangent of sine theta over NP over NG plus cosine theta. Okay, so sabi, a shop that intersect each other at an angle of 70 degrees, meaning our shop angle here is 70 degrees. In order for us to get the uh, pitch angle of the pinion, we have a formula of pitch angle arc tangent sine theta over NP over NG plus cosine theta. So, meron na tayong theta which is 70 degrees and ang sabi, the velocity ratio is 1 half. So, pwede nating sabihin that NP over NG is 1 half. So, that was the arc tangent of... So, this is a direct substitution problem. Sana always. That was 1 half plus cosine 70 degrees. Okay. So, our pitch angle will become... So that was sine 70, if I'm not mistaken. So that was sine 70 plus the velocity ratio is one half. Parang baliktad yung NP over NG ko. So the NP, which is uh, speed of the wheel, Tama ba? Dapat mas mabilis kasi si... Ah, oh, okay. So, that, baliktad to. So, dapat ito ay... Teka, ayun na mabura. This is 2. Tama. Tama. So, this is 2. So, that was sine 70. 2 plus cosine 70. Tapos arc tangent natin yun guys. So the pinion angle is 21.86 degrees Celsius. Of course, the nearest answer is letter C, obviously. So itry ko ang 1 half yun guys. Sine 70.5 sa ilalim plus ko sine 70. And of course, arc tangent. A port. Ah, may ingat din talaga. Lalabas yung sagot na 14.14. Pero dapat ang NP over NG or the speed, the velocity ratio should be 2. Kasi ito yung ano to eh, velocity ratio to. Hindi pa siya yung mismo NP over NG. Okay? So dapat kasi 1 over 2. So dapat kung sino yung mas malaki, ibig sabihin siya yung worm. Kasi siya dapat yung mabilis. So that was NP over NG. Ah, okay. So, kung NP over NG to, dapat mara-reciprocal talaga to. So, dapat, tama lang yung 2. Okay. So, be careful din, guys. So, lastly, a pair of straight tooth bevel gears. So, bevel gear pa rin. A velocity ratio of 4 is to 3. 
Pitch diameter of the pinion is 150 mm. Face width is 50. The pinion rotates thou at 240 RPM. The pressure angle is 14. And if 6 kilowatt is transmitted, determine the tangential force on the pinion. So how are we going to get the tangential force on the pinion? Mm -hmm. Tangential force of the pinion. So we're going to, we all know that uh, sinanap is tangential force. And alam natin ang tangential force is simply the twice of the torque over the diameter. So lagay natin pinion and pinion. So we're going to get the torque. Merong given na uh, uh, power. So it will be power is equal to the product of torque and the speed over 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. Magkakaroon tayo ng power in kilowatts provided that torque should be in Newton mm and n is in RPM. So it will become... 6 kilowatts is equal to torque times the RPM. So our RPM is 240. So it, uh, all over 9.549 times 10 raised to 6. So our torque here will become 6 times 9.549 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 240. So that was 238,725 Newton mm. Kaya pala maliit lang yung power kasi maliit lang yung torque. But remember, this is a combination of gear and threaded members again. Uh, so, dapat talaga maliliit lang yung RPM. Okay, so our DP. So, natin ko yung DP. So, the diameter of the pinion ang sabi 150 mm. So, this is a direct substitute problem. Maraming given. Huwag magpalito. So, that was twice of the torque. So that was Newton mm all over 150 mm. So Newtons na lang ang matitira. So that was 3183 Newton. So nasa nang sagot? Obviously that was letter B. Again guys, the arrangement of the choices is magkakamukha na naman. Baka makakuha nyo nga yung sagot pero malito kayo. Kasi, imbawa, pagod na sa exam. Malay, masagot nyo yung letter 3. Uh, parehong 3,000. Anyway, this is the last question for this today's topic. I hope marami kayo natutunan, guys, at marami kayo na-review. So, good luck sa mga magbo-board. And abangan lang natin this week or maybe next week of the two last topics na ating MD, which is the bearings, pati na rin rivets and welds. Okay, so simplihan na lang natin yun. Hindi naman masyadong nalabas sa board yan. Pero ang madalas lumabas sa, lumabas sa board sa natitirang topic is yung bearing. Rebet and welds siguro terminologies. Okay, so don't forget to review then yung terminologies. Kasi karaniman machine design, hati talaga yan, 50-50. Or minsan mas marami pa yung terminologies kaysa computation. Again, good luck sa inyo guys. And uh, mag-aaral may igay. God bless you and to your family. Bye-bye.